students today I'm here with another tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 10x on real hardware yes that's a reality now if you saw my short when I installed Windows 10x on real hardware I told you that I would make a tutorial on that and and this video is dedicated to that and for this purpose you'll require the Windows 10x FFU file you will need the drive on your target and basically nothing else. If you, and a way to con and you will need to a way to connect the drive because when you know if you try one of these OSG.yk if you saw some of these and you saw that there are awful lot of steps and you maybe you've tried but um, it didn't work you failed somewhere either downloading files building the image. No, 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 we aren't even doing that. We're only applying and loading win Windows 10X. That's the only thing we need to do in this video. Yeah, so only this is tutorial is based on this website. And we're going to use some commands because we'll need it. And now let's finally start this tutorial. All right, so let's just detach the drive and because we'll need to detach it. There is another method actually by using a WinPE disk. And but but I'll do a dedicated video on that way. Now this is an this is easier in my case. But I'll do dedicated. And by the way, why am I using another laptop that's not UEFI based you might ask? And yeah. I'm gonna remove the SSD from this laptop, put it in my laptop because I'm gonna use my main to install for this tutorial because it's the only UEFI based firmware system that I've got because I'm not planning to overwrite my Windows to install. That's why I'm gonna use another drive. I've detached the SSD, our trusty Samsung 256 gig SSD. By the way, the hardware requirements are at least 4 gigs RAM, you will need at least 128 gigs of available hard disk space. I mean, it doesn't take up like 60 gigs, it takes up like 30 gigs or something, but that's what it, it said on the website. And we're gonna follow that. And you must it must be UEFI based firmware, because it just won't work. Now. All right, so the drive is plugged in. Now let's start. Now you may want to open CMD, the command prompt, as administrator. Right. So now take disk part, list disk, and we have the two disks here. Disk zero is obviously like your installation and the disk one is our target disk so type select select disk so select disk one clean all right list disk all right so we've cleaned the drive you want to make sure you've chosen the you've chose the correct drive. Yes, that's right. You don't want to override accidentally something and you know. Now what we need to do is apply the image. And now we want to open command prompt again as administrator. That's very important in order to command in order the commands to work. That's what you need to do. Now you want to navigate to the website. We need to use some commands. We skip all these parts. We apply the image. Here it is. Copy. Paste it over here. Now, so here's the im. So in DISM apply FFU image file. Now we need to see the file location on our FFU file. I'll have a link down below on it. Right click. I'm gonna copy this as a path, paste it over here 
uh, we're not applying to physical drive zero you want to check it on what drive so I'm telling you again disk zero my Windows 11 install and disk one the target so let's select that to one and now we are applying the image so we're gonna wait for that it's gonna be quick and by the way I recommend SSD because it's faster if you want some good performance you wanna pick up SSD for this so yeah you'll need a newer hardware <laughs> Once the image is applied, oh, oh, I know what. Okay, I know that. Oh, this is basically the Windows 10X install. Once we've ma we disinstalled, yeah, this is like very similar. Like, let's put another tab in the file explorer just to compare my Windows 11 install. And so, look, we got the same structure here, like these side by side we can see that they're very similar yes that's right because it's a windows you know but the cancelled version now we'll type exit and please note that the ffu isn't not created by me i'm just making it easier for you to find it i'll i'll have a link down in the description because there is no way to make a windows nx image from scratch in 2022 yes can because Microsoft has removed the files from the servers and once we have the image applied we will need to boot into Windows 10x let's do that so now let's swap these drives so I'm gonna pull out the Windows 11 installation SSD I'm not gonna put the disk holder I'll pull out the side here is the Windows 10X install, so we'll just leave the side. Just gonna put it right here. Yeah, that's basically it. Now you wanna. Now, if, in order to disassemble your machine, you need to watch a YouTube video on that. So, you need to find your specific model and things. Yeah. All right, so I've plugged in the drive and now we're finally ready to turn on Windows 10X. But before we power on our target, I want to note something. So you may want to plug in Ethernet if you have no Wi-Fi. So I'm going to use this dongle. Um, I don't know why this won't recognize the Ethernet port, but we don't really care. We want to install this at once. Just plug this in. USB port now. Hmm. And now it should start booting. There we go, it started booting into Windows 10X. That's great. Now we're gonna just wait for it to boot into the out of box experience and hope for the best. Oh, we got a mouse cursor. Just how beautiful that out of box experience is. It actually is better than the Windows 11 one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And yeah, once you boot into the out of box experience, you will see that this is very Windows 11 like. Yes, that's right, because Windows 11 was based off of this. The keyboard's right, we're not ending a second keyboard layout. This is your. Now we're gonna go to the license terms. Yeah, but. And you might. I think you know, because it can't. Now, you, some of you guys, you might ask, Stefan how or on or why why do you install windows 10x like this is there an iso or something 
no there isn't an ISO image for this we only have the FFU file yes so we need to apply the image manually yes that's what i mean so let's just add our microsoft account yeah that's right we just can't you know we can't just you know bypass that you must use a microsoft account there is no offline account in here unfortunately now let's log in here Let's add that Microsoft account. Uh, finally, I had to reset the password by the way. I don't know why, but I had to reset the password. Now let's complete it anyway. All right, let's create a pin here. Let's type a pin. And by the way, the pin will be created if your machine has TPM 2.0. In this case, this laptop has, and that's why it created without any issues. If you don't have TPM, you won't be able to set up your pin, unfortunately. It, it is not required TPM for Windows 10X, but just to know. all right so we're finally in the desktop yes here we are at windows 10x this is not any some skin version of linux or whatever like you know or windows 10 or windows 11 made silicon feel like this no 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 this is the true windows 10x build 2027.9 which is basically the last build because they just canceled the project. There is just okay. So we got here. There's a Windows 10 X. This is, looks like it's based on Windows 10 version 2004. Oh yeah, build 2027.9 of Windows 10 is actually based on version 2004. Yeah, these are the device specs. We got the Windows specs. Yeah. The bad thing about this is that it would open everything like in full screen, you know? <laughs> it's actually much smoother than Hyper-V Manager. Yeah, and this is basically it. That, I mean, I'm basically everything working here. We got our launcher. That's why the extra all this and you might notice that it's very windows 11 like storage menu is very similar to what we saw in windows 11 only yeah and got this is actually very similar because i've told you windows 11 is based off on this they said cancel it and i don't know why let me let me know why you think this project was cancelled Looks like the equals many tablet users. Yeah. And uh, make sure to let me know in the comments down below if this worked. And yeah, that was all for today's video. If this helped you, make sure you have liked this video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.